You're watching update one on Cyclone Eunice, which has winds of 130 miles per hour and a pressure of 937 millibars. Uh, as of 2 p.m. UTC, January the 29th, its position is 16.2 degrees south, 66.9 degrees east. The storm is expected to move towards the southeast, uh, possibly reaching a peak as a, as a high-end Cat 4 storm, perhaps, maybe even having a run at Category 5 status, before beginning to weaken as it heads towards the southeast. Uh, and then a gradual curve towards the east is expected as it crosses over the open South Indian Ocean. There are no areas of land uh, at risk of the storm at this time, and it's likely that beyond 36 hours the weakening trend will begin. Um, so there it is right now, Eunice, of course, the fifth storm of the Southwest Indian Ocean this year, or this uh, this season at least. So let's take a look at what's going on with the sea surface temperatures right now. You can see they're fairly warm, around 28 degrees Celsius. Although the 26 band, which is the threshold for development, isn't too far away. If it does move too far south, we could possibly see some premature weakening. That's certainly going to be a likability later on, though, as it does head towards those waters. Looking at the wind shear map, you can see a pocket of low shear around the storm at this time, decreasing to its immediate south and increasing just north of the storm. Uh, you can see Diamondra as well there over a high shear environment. That's why it's weakening so quickly there. Uh, and you can see the storm here on the water vapor imagery. You can see the eye uh, quite clearly shown on this map here. So in the latest satellite imagery, you can see how the storm's uh, gotten towards 15 degrees south and is heading towards the southeast now. Uh, you can see the islands of um, Mauritius and Reunion towards the uh, west. The storm's staying well clear of those islands. Even Rodrigues further east will not really see any real problems from this storm. Um, you can see on the uh, satellite imagery here how the eye has been coming out. Uh, not so much on that image, but on this one you can see how it's appeared in the past few hours. Um, it is a very clear eye, um, possibly getting um, even better, I suppose. A central core around it, the eye wall, uh, looks fairly strong. Winds, of course, 130 miles per hour. And this picture, I think, is probably the best one to show you, uh, showing where the most intense part of the storm is. looks like the northwest quadrant. As of January the 29th at 2pm UTC, this is the current situation around the world. Nothing going on in the Western Hemisphere, but in the East, we have Cyclone Eunice and Diamandra. Uh, Diamandra peaked with winds of 50 miles per hour and is about to dissipate now. We also have Invest 99P in the South Pacific Ocean too. In 2015, we've seen six storms form so far this year. Since January the 1st, three of those have become Category 1 cyclones with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher, and two of those, this being the second, has be have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. The first one, of course, was Bansi, in a similar location almost to where this one is. Um, in terms of being in the southwest Indian Ocean anyway. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm-wise. Of course, the video pages will also have regular updates, including here's today's storm tomorrow, every night at midnight UTC. Also, the social pages will keep you updated too. Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, at Force 13 on Twitter. You can speak to me personally on Skype as well, add Force 13 on there for tropical weather chat. And we also have a Force 13 Skype group. Uh, add me on Skype for an invite there too. Uh, next update on this storm will be in here today's storm tomorrow, later on this evening. That's all for now.